To our breaking news, nearly 20 hours after the nightmare unfolded underground, the manhunt continues for the gunman who opened fire on a train at the 36th Street subway station in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Here is a look at where it all began just before 8.30 yesterday morning. The end train was approaching the 36th Street and 4th Avenue station when chaos unfolded. And here's a look at a second crime scene in the Gravesend section of Brooklyn. The U-Haul truck investigators say traced back to a person of interest. That person of interest is identified as Frank James. He has residences in Wisconsin and Philadelphia. Police say 10 people were shot, but at least 23 were hurt in the attack, and this could have been worse. Sources say the shooter's gun jammed with bullets still inside. And now we've got team coverage for you this morning. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook following the latest on today's commute and the anxiety many riders and students nearby might be facing. Well, we start with CBS 2's John Diaz, who has the very latest on the manhunt for this person. John. Well, Chris, good morning, Mary. Uh, good morning, both of you. Well, during this dark time for New York City, there is some light to report here this morning is that while this suspect opened fire, you know, firing 33 shots and those smoke bombs, uh, we are told that all the victims, out of all of them, none of them suffered any life threatening injuries, and some of them already been released from the hospital. This morning, the NYPD is in hot pursuit, searching far and wide for this man, 62-year-old Frank James from Philadelphia, who was a person of interest in Tuesday morning's heinous subway attack. Police say he rented this U-Haul found in the Gravesend section of Brooklyn that might be connected to the mass shooting. Investigators believe whoever pulled off this crime was a lone wolf. Police say the suspect got on the train at the Kings Highway station Tuesday morning when the train was stopped in the tunnel between the 59th and 36th Street stations he attacked, shooting 10 people and injuring 13 more when he allegedly set off smoke bombs while wearing a gas mask. <laughs> It was sheer terror for riders who ran for their lives through the smoke and away from gunfire. I'm looking for Mel Black carrying a school bag. Police say the gunman left behind a bag with a hatchet, two gas canisters, and a single automatic handgun that apparently jammed, perhaps saving lives. Police are still trying to figure out a motive, but say James is connected to some concerning social media posts. He mentions homelessness, he mentions New York, and he does mention Mayor Adams. And as a result of that, in an abundance of caution, we're going to tighten the mayor's security detail. A video from inside the train shows one rider trying to escape the car with a suspect, but the door between cars was locked. Some people were covered in blood on their hands. They had uh, their masks still in their hands. Other pictures and videos show bloodied victims in the aftermath of the shooting. The worst pain I've ever found in my life. This man says he was sitting next to the shooter. I did a, got a glimpse of his face, and all you see is like a smoke, black smoke bomb going off, and then, and then people bum rushing to the back. This pregnant woman was in front of me. I was trying to help her. I didn't know they were shots at first. I just thought it was a black smoke bomb. She said, I'm pregnant with a baby. I hugged her. And then the bum rush continued. I got pushed, and that's when I got shot. Good Samaritans helped put pressure on wounds and stayed with the injured until help arrived. The youngest injured, just 12 years old, and another 16 who was shot in the hand. Governor Hochul met with him and his mother. Talk about her anxiety. All she has is her son and just the two of them. She also met with another teenage patient. I had the opportunity to meet the 18-year-old patient, a young Latino man who is a student at the borough of Manhattan Community College. He was on his way to school. Now, this attack is raising even more questions about a subway safety. Now, while Mayor Eric Adams is still in isolation due to that COVID diagnosis, on a virtual announcement yesterday, he said that he will not be ruling out adding extra safeguards, and that does include possibly adding metal detectors. We're live this morning from Sunset Park, Brooklyn. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.